Hello, I'm Mark Mathias on HCT. This is the Dubai's Men Campus as this program is being produced by my student crew. Today I'm going to talk about audio and video connectors that are associated with studio cameras. First of all, we're going to talk about XLR mic cables and their connectors. Secondly, we're going to go into the BNC British Nut Connector for video. And then last, we're going to end up with Tri-X cable, both male and female, how it works with a studio camera. So first, Let's take a look at XLR mic cables. First of all, we have a male and female end. They can connect together. They will be released by pressing this switch. If we're connecting into our camera, we will use the male connector, put it in. You'll hear it click into place, which means it is tight. What we do not want to do is pull on these cables, because if you do, you might hurt the cables themselves. So you have to press the release button in order to release the cable. So if we had this in and we happened to damage the cable, what would that look like? First of all, we're going to take a look at the inside of this cable. They are very fine threads of cable inside. There's a positive and a negative, and then you have the ground, which is the shield around this cable. If you get an intermittent audio, if it breaks up, it could be because the solder joint is bad. One of these cables has come loose and will connect periodically, and that will give you intermittent sound. So do not damage the audio cables by pulling. Always use the release button when taking the XLR cable out. Next, we have BNC, the British Nut Connector. The BNC is for video connection mainly, and it has two poles on the receiving end, and what you do is you place it in place, we turn it until it slides into place, and then it will lock into place. Once it's locked into place, very difficult to pull this apart. So in order to release it, you push in slightly, turn and release. So what happens if you take this and pull real hard? I will show you. What will happen is you will fray the shield and it will look similar to this. And you'll see the shield being exposed. The cable may still work, but it probably be, will give you a poor signal. You're going to see that the solid core of the signal is coming through the center part and the shield could be off of the outside, which means your signal will not be a true signal. So try not to mess up your BNC cables. Don't just pull on them. Always rotate and then disconnect your BNC. Lastly, we're going to talk about Tri-X. Tri-X cable has a male and female end. This male end will connect to the camera itself, and you will put it into place, and it will lock into place. Now, these are very large cables. There's about 24 different cables inside this. They are very robust, but you can mess them up, especially when you try to disconnect them. If you want to disconnect from the camera, you have to push up first and then pull. Yeah, so you push up and then pull the cable. If you're at the other end on a patch bay, what you have to do is there's a ring around the patch bay that once the cable is in place, you have to depress the ring and then you can pull your cable out. In theory, you can pull it out. Yes, you can. There you go. So that's Tri-X cable, male and female ends, B and C for video and XLR for audio. Appreciate your time today. Thank you much.